Right, welcome to Talk from the Terraces. Um, joined by Martin Wymo Gardner and Anthony Vivian. We are without uh, Casual Sniper because uh, he's off to the Queen's funeral tomorrow. Uh, so the best of luck to him. He's got an early start. Speaking of the Queen's death, chaps, uh, my first question, and I'll come to you, Martin. As soon as we, we heard the sad news, they stopped all games. Now, Peter Crouch put up um, a tweet saying, wouldn't it be better to play games um, and wear black armbands and have a minute silence, much like they did in the, in the 70th minute when Wolves played Man City? So did they get that right, Martin, or should they have played games and honoured the Queen in a different way? That's my question. I reckon what you said there about the black armbands, and if you if you noticed, a lot of these games, like the, the Prem game today, 70th minute, there was, well, not a minute silence, there was a minute uh, applaud, yeah. like, yeah. clapping. Me, personally, I, oh, I did, I put something up on Facebook, like, to show my respect for simple reason, right? She's all I've known since I was a kid, yeah? yeah. I don't want to come across as, but I'm not a royalist. Right, and I don't want to. I don't want to elaborate on that too much. But I'm just not a royalist. Not that I've got anything against them, but I, I'm just. I've never, ever, ever thought about them in my life ever. Well, ever. no, no, because they're quite, they're quite far removed from. Normal they are elitists, yeah. right? And the amount of money and, and what is there's ten thousand coppers uh, on duty tomorrow. So tomorrow. Well, it's Monday, and it? so no banks are open. But tomorrow is your day to go fucking rob a bank or a building. Sadly, no <laughs> coppers around. Like it's yeah, like fucking, you're, you're you right. know. So who, who who's there to catch the fucking burglars? Or oh, all right, I, I get. But, and I, but one thing, like she she is popular, and it just goes to show how popular. You know, with these queues, and when you're having to queue to yeah. to join the queue, that just shows how popular she was. So although I show my respects, and now it's King Charles. You know, uh, and then I fucking get a, a snigger at the end because all I can think of is fucking Spaniel at the end and all, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know it, whether he's going to, whether he's going to command the respect that she did because it's been decades and decades and yeah. decades. Oh. And through my parents' lifetime, my, I'm not just going to say my grandparents' lifetime, my lifetime and my kids so far, that's all we've known. So it's been drummed into you. But from yeah, now yeah. onwards, I, I'm hoping it dackers down a bit, I'm saying. I, I think you're right um, about King Charles. Just to go off topic a little bit, I don't think he's going to be as strong a monarch as, as his mum was. Um, OK, Anthony, did the FA get it right cancelling games or should have they played games with the black armbands and the applause and singing the national anthem and all the rest of it? Um, I, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to say, I'm going to say yeah, I think... You know, they did, they did get it right. Um, at the end of the day, you know, normally when, when a monarch dies, the, the country does go into mourning or you know, 10-day mourning. Yeah. Everything shuts down, etc. Um, You know, and, and I, I won't, I'm not going to say I'm a massive royalist, but, um, but you know, I do see what the royal family have, you know, have done for us, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. think we'd have the life we had if, if you know, if the... If the the royal family wasn't the way it was all that many years ago. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I, I think they got it right. You know what I mean? I think the game should have been called off. At the end of the day, it's a massive, massive thing. You know what I mean? You've only got to look at different, you know, TV channels across across the world now and, and look how big it is. We, we probably don't see how big it is here because we're in the middle of it in we're the in country. It. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, we're, we're, we're not looking in. Um but if you've, you know, I've looked around and, you know, the, 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 the fucking world, the world's on us, you know what I mean? Um, like it was on the radio today, London's never seen anything as big as what's going to happen tomorrow. No. So, so yeah, I, I think they got it right, you know what I mean? I mean, it's all right, well, it's, you know, you know we, 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 have, we have a minute, it's fucking silence and a minute's applause for anybody, you know what I mean? For people that die. It's the fucking queen of the country, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I understand. I just... For me, it just seems a little bit that it was only football that got stopped. Cricket was played, rugby was played. I know the cricket and rugby was on the day after. I know the boxing got stopped. Um, that was the last minute 
Carl. Um, all football got stopped. Um, I think all sports would have been stopped all that weekend, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think it should have been the football, but um, if it was going to be one thing, it should have been everything, yeah. It should have. And like you say, I don't, as Martin said, he's not a royalist um, as such, if you have to put label on things. But I'm hearing from you two, I'm the same myself. I, you know, I, I was a fan of royal family. And like anything, she was a great grandmother, a grandmother and a mother, you know. So at the end of the day, she was a human being. And as Martin said, you know, she's all I've ever known as as the queen. Mm. I've never known anything else. Um, so I don't know where we're going to go from her. Will King Charles be a strong harmonic? Who knows? Now, Martin, you spoke about cues and the cues are massive. Um, obviously, people pay, and uh, there's been this uh, this scandal that the MPs are allowed to jump the queues, and so did Philip Schofield and um, Holly Willoughby. But there was one man who didn't, and it was David Beckham Martin. How long have you been queuing? How long have you been queuing, David? Uh, Thank you very much. Quarter past two. Quarter past two this morning. And, 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 and how, how has it hit for you? I mean, because you've been in a bit of pain, haven't you? Uh, yeah, but I think we're all, you know, we're all going through this. Yeah. 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 And if you can just tell me what you, what, just again, how it's been to sort of like share this experience with everybody else. To be honest, you know, it's it's what we all envision, you know, we all want to be here together, we all want to experience something where we celebrate the amazing life of our Queen, uh, and I think, you know, something like this today is meant to be shared together, so, you know, the fact that we've been here, we're eating Pringles, we're eating <laughs> sherbet lemons, you know, we're eating sandwiches, having coffee, so donuts. Yeah, so and, nice. I, and I bet, Madam, you didn't think that you'd be in the queue with David Beckham, did you? No, I didn't, but big respect for him. He, he stood with us and yes. he's paid his respects how he wants to, yeah. and I think that's amazing. And I've just, it's just been really good. Yeah, big shout out to Beck. You've got to like, and if you if you saw the statement that he put out, I'm sure it's about his, his grandfather, and and he said he wanted to approve, and he'd have done exactly the same. He'd have done exactly the same thing. Now this morning, I've commented trying to get get on the side of Philip Schofield <laughs> and Holly Willoughby, saying that they was working. Oh, Fuck okay, off. they were there as journalists. So all well, right, yeah. Fuck off, you privileged fucking cunt. And I'll tell you what made me sick and all. That Jacob Reese fucking mong and his little mongoloid fucking kids in fucking tail with him. You know, and 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 and, and, and Theresa May, how long she stood there for. That, and, and, and normal people, I couldn't call myself normal, but a, a, a fucking commoner compared to them. Yeah, member of the public, yeah. Yeah, yeah, member of the public. Like, uh, uh, two seconds, bow, whatever, like... Oh, she fucking strung that fucker out, and all it made it just made me fucking angry. And you see them go through, and they just taking the side door, not queuing. Why? Why? When Bex is fucking forty, fucking odd, like, and he had the decency to queue. What twelve was it? Fourteen hours, something like that. Yeah. And some people, some people, you get them anti Bex. He was doing that because he's trying to get his foot in the door for Monday, so he's getting an invite to the funeral. I think he did it out of fucking respect. He did. Because he's played but my for, you. He's played for England and he's sung the national anthem and he's played for you know his country and and he got his as MBE or OBE. So yeah, big shout out to him, man. Yeah. What a guy compared to the other fuckers. Yeah. How did you feel about it, Anthony? Did he get it right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's, um, it's just you know what I mean, he turned up to show respect. And it's showing his respect to, you know, to, to everybody else that was in the fucking queue, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, standing yeah. there. Did they buy a mile of bag of nuts or something as well? Uh, a like. bag of, I think you got a lot of people some donuts. I think you're right, yeah. Donuts are fucking something yeah. like that. Anyway, yeah, I thought, it was yeah. like, I thought, about, I thought about a mile of bag of nuts. But yeah, fair play to him. And do you know what, Anthony, as well? He, he didn't turn up giving it Billy Big Bollocks, did he? I don't know. He looked fucking smart, didn't he? Yeah, he did. he did. He was a gentleman with his umbrella. He must have been bloody hot in all that get-up, waistcoat, coat, and all the rest yeah. of it. 
So, uh, you know, but I think that when a lot of the football lads, people that didn't even like David Beckham are now going to look at him and think, hang on a minute. Yeah, he's got all that money. He's he's had all these yes men around him, but hang on a minute. You've got to give him your respect for that one. Um, so respects to Bex. Uh, it, you know, it really is. Right, we're, um, we'll turn to football. And um, there has been some really bizarre news that a consortium in Las Vegas wants to buy Bournemouth, Anthony. It, Bournemouth. Um, I, I would be so surprised, but then when you've got um, Wrexham with Deadpool and the other fella behind them, are they all getting in on the act now, Anthony? Fuck it, I'm out. It's big money, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's big money. Um, it's just a thing with, with, with you know. Um, the only thing I'd be worried about, they just don't see, they don't seem to be getting it right buying football clubs over here. Yeah, it's there. Everyone, you know what I mean? Everybody seems to buy. They, they just they seem to be unresting the clubs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but. Well, yeah, why not? Why not for me? I think it was I think it was you or Martin that said in a previous episode, yeah, you can have lots of money injected into your club, but this phrase of they bought the league, you, you can't buy the league. No, yeah. listen, you know <laughs> listen, money, money talks, yeah, it's as simple as that. Money does yeah. talk, yeah. If we see it now with Newcastle, they're gonna be up there in the next few years, you know what I mean? Money does talk. But it's all right. It's all well and good. Listen, you, you can, Man United, they've been throwing fucking money at everybody over the last yeah. few seasons, right? They, they, spent, they spent just as much as anybody. You know what I mean? They've not won fuck off. You know what I mean? You, they've got to get it right. You know what I mean? City, City at first was throwing money about we weren't getting it right. You know what I mean? It was a few years before we won the trophy. You've got to get it right first. You know what I mean? You've got to get the right manager. You've got to get the right team there. It's all well and good throwing money about. Playing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's um, I don't. You can't buy the league. You know what I mean? Yeah. Money does help. Of course, it helps. You know what I mean? But um, you know, if if these if these if these buyers aren't gonna gonna come in for clubs for, for you know, should we say smaller clubs? Um, would it have just been fucking United and Liverpool and maybe Arsenal or whatever? Exactly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think Martin. This is what I was surprised about. You, they're just come off the back of a 9 nil hiding, and now all of a sudden, this consortium in Las Vegas, they want to... I, I, I wouldn't be bothered about that 9 nine nil drubbing. Like, look, we said it last time. Look who you played. Look who they've got. And, and look at the manager that they've just lost, right? Mm. Now, I like I like the setup of Bournemouth. Like, I, I like what they've fucking done. And, and, and they've done all right. If you look at the map, you know... Uh, they don't get. We play them in a in, in a final playoff final, and we lost. And I forget I forget where, where it's to go. Whether where was in a I forget what division we was in. But they won it anyway, and they went up, and they've gone on to bigger and better things. And they've done it right, a bit like Brighton as well. They're not they're not massive. They're like seaside towns. They are seaside towns. In my eyes, punched above the weight. But they've got the setup there, right? They've got both got good academies. Bournemouth have got a good academy. I'll be honest with you now. Who's that? Who's the manager there? It's not. Is it not still? Um, who's gone there? I don't I know. It, it used to be Eddie Eddie Howe, but since Eddie Howe, um, I've kind of yeah. lost interest. E exactly like it, but the, but they're still they're still still doing all right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, fair crap to them. I mean, we. I mean, like, I'd love someone to, if someone was to come along. You know, like, and say, oh, yeah, we're interested in... Uh, we had this Clive Nates, our chairman, came in in South Africa, and he's done us the world of good when the Cowleys were here. So, yeah, money talks, and you're not you're not going to say no. You're not going to, as a fan, say that's a shit idea. You're going to think, yes, we could be the next Newcastle lawyer. All right, for how long? And Because football is just a, an evolving, revolving door. People go in, players get older. It's all right saying, oh... Uh, they're a great squad. It's like this Arsenal squad. I love them at the moment. It's how long they can keep them players for and it's how long they want to stay for. It's just all about money. Players come and go. And you only need one or two players to leave. 
and that changes the whole dynamics of that fucking squad. And they can go from being amazing to not so fucking... Look at West Ham. We've been beat today by, all right, Everton, like... But Everton, I thought, d- d- deserved it. Yeah. And we've you played some good starters. Well, you, know, hey? you know, you've got certain players. It goes in... It goes in eras, you know, for 10 years, a club like Man United can win everything. And yeah, now, because of that team, because of them players, as soon as them players gone, like you've got to start from scratch from the base. I wouldn't be surprised if you hadn't have, uh, had these um, Hollywood actors that that bought into Wrexham. But do you know who started it all? Was Michael Jackson when he, when he bought into Exeter. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, wacko Jacko. He was on the board at Exeter City. Um, I kid you not, Google it, viewers. He was yeah, there. If, it, if he'd have had his own way, Bubbles would have been in goal. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. And I think long before uh, long before COVID, he was sat in the Exeter City stands with a surgical mask on. But um, and I'll try and get a picture up to show the viewers. Um, it's simple as that. Yeah, because there's a fact I didn't know. Yeah. Right, um... When you look, we obviously the news of Thomas Tuchel getting sacked come to me is a bit of a shock. Scott Parker after a 9 0 hammering, yeah, fair enough. Thomas Tuchel's just won the Champions League, Anthony. Um, then he gets sacked. Was that was it a shock? Did you expect it? Um, again, you know what I mean? Probably, probably a bit early in the season, but I would have thought so. But um, was it a shock? Fucking not, not. I don't know. Not really. No, not really. I don't think anything can fucking shock you these days. But but yeah, was it too early? Maybe yeah. Maybe a bit too early in the season again. Um, throat cut. It's fucking throat cut. It is. It is Russian roulette, isn't it? Almost. Yeah, it's. You know what I mean? It's um. Listen, the fucking board are putting plowing money in big money. You know, I know they just. With everything that's gone on, you know what I mean? Chelsea have had, they've had a lot going on behind the scenes, haven't they, and that? But, um, you know, maybe there's another agenda behind it. We don't know. But, yeah, fucking cutthroat. If you're not, if you're not, if, you know, the, the results aren't going in or you're getting a few fucking shit results and they're not happy the way things are going, fucking revolving door, you're Doesn't gone. matter who you are. Doesn't matter who you are. You would think that, though, you would like to think, though, you know, with the Abramovich era ending, yeah, and this yeah. bowling coming in like that, it just might change you know, the mindset. But the mindset has just carried on, hasn't it? It's just like it's carried on. You know, a couple of shit results, door gone. I mean, I'd never heard of Tuchel before it came, so I'm not going to no, say. Oh, I had there. off Martin to be fair. Yeah, no. never heard of the boat. So, uh, yeah, whether it's too soon or not, I don't know. They've got the money to. But what they've got to do again, when they get what well, they've got someone in, all right. I reckon now with who they've got in, uh, I think he'll do the business, you know. I really do. Is from, it from Brighton, Graham Potter? Potter, exactly like is 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 it is it's like now the, the Potter era. Yeah, I think he'll be a success. I fucking do. Okay. I, I... He hasn't he hasn't got all bells and whistles. It's like, well, he's come from a you know, a, a team that's like, you know, people are thinking, fucking hell. A weird choice. It, it, normally, it's your uh, Pochettinos and you know what and Conte. Yeah, and all these, I know what you're it's saying. The same, uh, and all it's the same fucking ten. Well, they've gone for someone a bit different, like, and, it, and it's like right, start from the ground up. Was like you've got the foundations there. Look what you've spent. Just make him make them gel and make it fucking sort out works. the basics. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I think you're absolutely right, Martin. I think maybe times that. Are starting to end, start thinking, oh, just because he's got a big name as a manager is not an automatic success or fit. With the players they've got, right, they're not going to go down, but they're not going to win the fucking league this year. I mean, like I, I said at, at the start, how many Haaland would fucking score? Oh, and uh, and, and, right, and and I look at the stats this morning, you know, Dixie Dean's record of yeah. 60 goals. There was talk about that, and I don't think that. I just don't think that can be done right. But I did say, and I've had a bet as well, I have a bet, I did tell you this a few weeks ago as well, that no one in the Prem is going to get within five goals. Given the golden boot now, 
There's no one going to score. <laughs> Nowhere near yeah. as many goals. And they're not. And not, not one player, Gabriel Jesus, whoever, is going to get within five goals of Haaland. He's just a fucking machine. You saw that that last goal, that like a karate kick. Oh, he's a, he's a force. He's an abs. He's oh, an absolute you. force. And like you said, Martin, I I just I don't think anyone is going to get anywhere near him. And I'm not. You can't good. say one player is going to win the league for Man City, but he's going to play a fucking big part, isn't he? Abby? He's going to play. He's going to score fucking eighty percent of their goals. De Bruyne, if he keeps on delivering like he is, how many assists he's got? That's it. See you fucking later, Liverpool, Arsenal. And, and, and I've got that well so far. But the top three, all right, I fucked up with Chelsea. Uh, but I said, like, you know, uh, Man City, Arsenal, so far. Getting it right. Anthony, Arsenal, Anthony, you're never. Anthony, we've seen Scott Parker and Thomas Tuchel get, um, They've, you know, they've got the set. How yeah. is Brendan Rodgers keeping hold of his job? Because Leicester have had their worst start. But, you know, you might say that they're probably gone already. Um, yeah. The next name that, right here in the papers, isn't it? Do you know what? It's for Leicester, they're looking at Brendan Rodgers. I mean, ben, I mean, he's a, he, he really, he's a, Brendan's a proven manager in the Premier League. You know what I mean? And the thing is, is for Leicester, is, I mean, if go get me wrong, they're probably having a look about now, but who they're going to go for, who, you know what I mean, who they're going to get, you know what I mean? Um, I reckon, you know, yeah, give, give it, you know, another, another two or three bad results, and they're probably fucking, you know, the, the, the rumours that are going to start that, he's going to be going, you know what I mean? But, start, but start. He's, 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 who, who they're going to get, I suppose, you know what I mean? Um, there's, a, there's a few, there's a few that could be fucking going, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I've said that a while ago, you know what I mean? Is is Brendan gonna be going? And and you know, Stevie Gerrard as well, you know what I mean? I mean always they, they've had a fucking um a decent result against us, didn't they, the bastard? But um Well yeah, they, and, and the, the one yesterday and all didn't they? They're the result of the weekend, aren't they? I mean yeah. Le- Leicester, you've got yeah. the likes of Harvey Barnes, Madison, got some good players and they're wanting to play well to get in the England squad. Madison will be kicking himself. I don't know. They, I, I've, and I've looked at, and I, I did look earlier. Their next five games, but me, they've got some tough games. They've got in my eyes, but they've got two that are maybe winnable if they play like they did this weekend. Like, uh, if they, if they play like that, they'll get five losses. Then he's got to go. Yeah, but it's like a like West Ham. Hey, like we said last episode. These people that are at these clubs now, especially fans, football's about results. If you don't get the results, the manager doesn't get the results. It it ends with him, and they get. Well, the- we're, we're not getting results at West Ham, but I can't see. I can't see him even. I've heard nothing. I can't see him. I go on West Ham forums and that lot. Even talking about getting rid of Moyes, he's got some brilliant players and they're doing all right. They're just not yeah. doing enough, and that's Skamaka. Who I thought from that Sassuolo or whatever from the from Syria, fucking hell! He, he hasn't had a brilliant start. He could do with like you know, played a bit better. See, they, see, I think, I think West, West Ham had a good season last season. Do you know what I mean? And they yeah. played some brilliant football last season. So I think um, again, you know what I mean? It'd be um, far too early to talk about getting the demise yet. I think he's done a great job there. We lost, we lost there. Noble. We lost Mr. West Ham Noble. He's yeah, well, yeah, West yeah. Great. Uh, there's actually um, a great documentary on YouTube um, about Mark Noble um, and how um, he was, as you say, Mr. West Ham. Right, was, just before yeah. we finish up, lads, I'm going to uh, end with a section I'm going to call Waiting to be Offended. Um, well, this is... This is not for the snowflakes. Um, I couldn't believe this, chaps, when this come up. There was flowers left at the palace gates by Tyson Fury. It said something like, from, from me, Paris and the kids, um, you know, love the Queen. But what the, uh, the outrage was, if you can call it outrage, he signed it Gypsy King Anthony. I mean, um, how dare he? <laughs> oh, yeah, the king bit. 
You know, what do you think about Anthony? It's ridiculous, isn't it, to get offended over that? He's known as the Gypsy King. For, you know, he was... Yeah, yeah, it's a bit fucking... Um... You know what? I don't know what to fucking say about that. We so fucking... can fucking sit here and talk about everything. Everyone's offended by anything these days, aren't they? Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. It's, you know what? It's, it's, from, it's from a travelling community. Yeah. And do you know what? Like, fair crap to the bloke for even going yeah. to the capital. Exactly. And that's what he's right. that's what he's known at. I wouldn't fucking put mine, then I wouldn't put YMO LTE. You know what yeah, I mean? No, no, <laughs> no, no. I wouldn't like, you know what I mean? But like, because he's fucking known as a household name. Gypsy King, yeah, fucking respect for that. It, it, it is known as, and you know, and for it to even like for people to get offended first is ridiculous. And yeah, for exactly. that to become, you know, I'm talking about it on a podcast. It, yeah, fuck the snowflakes, then, isn't it? it? It should be nothing. Um, just to finish, I don't know if anybody's seen their video clipping of the guy. It's 2-1 to Chelsea and we're the Chelsea fan following the game. Oh yes. What are your instant reactions? Come this way. After a win like this, what's the top four hopes like for Chelsea this season? We didn't really play well, but but we deserve the result. I oh, think fuck off. With the oh, fuck shit, you cunt. Fuck off you silly cunt. Sorry. Sorry. Fuck off you US cunt. Fucking all money, Trump. Um, okay, take two. Yeah, take two. Right, three, two, one. Sorry, um, so Chelsea 2 1 victory, three points. Yeah. How likely are they to finish the top one after a rocky start? Yeah, it's made some brilliant stories. A bammy young. Fucking cheated cunt. It's going to be. Fucking Are you excited about that? Are you excited? <laughs> Hey man. Hey no. Where's the sun, man? He's over there. I think it's done just, just over there. He's gone over there, mate. Just yeah. over there. Hey, no! Mate, it's just with the police officer just over there, you see? Where? I believe just over there, you see the police officer? Yeah. I believe that's him. Chelsea fan in the Mohawk. Um, he was being interviewed, and then all of a sudden it kicked off, and then he, um, and then he, they had to do a take two. It, it was pretty funny. I'll actually put it at the end of this video. Um, it was. I, I saw, I saw it. I thought it was fucking hilarious because it was yeah. Stan, wasn't it? Yeah. And there was the thing is there was interviewing him like, and say so he goes, and he goes, you what you can't or something like. I beat it out, didn't it? And he was going to go for him. And then someone else says something, and then went for it again, didn't it? But the bloke looked a twat, and it he looked a bigger. It's his, 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 his hair. It's his fucking haircut. His hair never was mind a that, Never mode. mind that he's, he looked all right. He's, he's game and that lot, mate. Sort your hair out. You look a fucking tip. He you said know something know I mean? like, "You know, we deserved it today." And a West Ham fan shouted over, "No, you you, you, you cheated." And then it went off for a bit, and. The police oh, it's hilarious. I'll, I'll put the clip up. It the, was hilarious. It was more know. funny than anything, isn't it? Yeah, I, I thought <laughs> it was fantastic. Um, okay, fellas. Um, it's been interesting as ever. We obviously we had a week off last week because of the Queen's death. Um, we'll be back next week, and uh, and there'll be more videos coming from UK Casual soon. Uh, sorted. <laughs>